Hello everyone and welcome to this week's uh, video tutorial on make basic mid game tactics. This will be a continuation of chapter 6 which discusses the uh, tactic of blocking uh, as seen from the earlier uh, tutorial material in the video. So without further ado, let's begin the bot. Now this position was found in the book. Uh, there is every version uh, in English is available on the World Strategy Federation website. A quick analysis of the board would show that uh, although Red had the material superiority to Cannon's 1 Chariot 1 Horse versus Black's 2 Chariots 1 Horse and uh, 2 Pawns, uh, Red would also have a 1 Pawn but Black would have 2 advisors for defense while Red only had 1 Elephant. Uh, Black was about, if Black were to make move first, Black could check bait with uh, R3 plus 1 or R9 equals to 7. So this would be a do or die situation for red. Now, although red had so many major pieces, uh, the only two pieces that were effective in attacking would be the cannon and the chariot at this point. So uh, this, the, the horse and the cannon uh, need to do their part and try to maneuver to better positions for to checkmate. Now, uh, h9 plus 8 is not viable because the horse can capture it, uh, neither would h9 plus 7. And the cannon at this point would not, this cannon at this point would not do much. So, how can red use the tactic of blocking to uh, achieve victory? So, red first, red, red to go first. The first would be to, first move would be to play r5 equals to 6 to deliver a check forcing the advisor to be raised. Now, Red will now set up a position whereby he can uh, use discovered checks to help maneuver his material. The Red King would also have control the central file. So the second move that Red will make will be to play R6 equals to 1. Now, um, Black would have the only viable move would be to A4, play A4 minus 5. Now it would be a mistake for Red to play uh, to capture the chariot because the black chariot could simply checkmate. So Red will need to deliver a check, and because the red chariot had blocked the black chariot from capturing the cannon, the red cannon could now be able to make mischief. So a check over here. If black, if black, uh, sorry, if black advance the king, it will be an immediate checkmate. So that is why uh, black can only retreat his king. And in doing so, red would deliver another check with uh, c1 plus 1. And after making this check, the king will now be limited to only these two squares. Uh, sorry, these two intersections for uh, to move. Now, after the cannon had been positioned, red will continue with another discovered check. And this time, he would play r6 equals to 7. Now again, the tactic of blocking is used. With the chariot at this point in time, this would be a discovered check. And black can only play uh, a4 minus 5. He cannot retreat. Uh, he cannot retreat, nor can he make any other move. And because the red chariot had blocked the black chariot, red would now be able to move the horse to the high angular horse position and after delivering the check the only only safe intersection or only legal move for the black king would be to play r4 plus 1 but unfortunately at this point in time this intersection and this intersection were now both uh, commanded by red and red would simply checkmate now red's control of the lines was simply brilliant and with by using the tactic of blocking uh, with discovered checks, Red was able to maneuver the cannon to the bottom rank and then the horse to the high angle horse position before the final checkmate materialized. Uh, quick recap check, block, check, check, another discovered check, block, and the final the stage is now set for the final kill. Checkmate. 
I hope you've enjoyed this very short video and I think it's a very good example of the tactic of blocking and if you like the work that I have been doing uh, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up thank you